So now it's time to look at using Muse as a tool for um, creating uh, wireframes. So uh, the first thing we want to do is go to muse.adobe.com. And when we do, we're going to get to this website. And when you get to this website, there's a whole bunch of things here. It's great. There's some tutorials teach you how to do some really cool things in Muse. Um, there's uh, some events that they have planned. Um, they have, oh, and look what we got, a prototype. Look at that coming up next week. I'm going to have to watch that one as well. And then we're going to look at the exchange, which is the one I'm really interested in. So when you come into the exchange, you'll notice that there is a bunch of things that you can get access to. And one of them is the Andrews prototype, which I um, already downloaded for you and gave you in class. But if you needed to get it for your computer at home, it's very simple. You just come here. Um, you'll notice it's going to show you what's there. You click download items and then it's quickly downloaded to your computer. And now it's available for you. All right. So that's that. I can get out of here, so move that out of the way, and then we go over to Muse. So we can back over to our friend Muse here, and um, as we've done before, we create a new site. So you can see I've got a bunch of other sites here, but I'm going to create a new site. I'm going to leave it at desktop, as we talked about before, um, and I've got my option of phone and tablet. We're going to stay with desktop for right now, and I want to create a uh, 960 by 500. I'm going to create three columns. And again, as you'll notice, as I change my columns, it changes this here. So when I get two columns, it brings it down to 450, 920, uh, with a gutter of 20 on each side. So I'm going to actually bring it back up to three. I'm going to leave it at center horizontal, and I'm going to click OK. So now um, we remember from last time that uh, anything we apply to our master will be affected in our um, in, in all our sub pages, but we need to create the structure. So I'm going to just kind of create a similar structure that we created in class. I'm going to stop by creating uh, a next page where I'm going to call it menus, and then I'm going to create another one where it's going to be about, and then another one where it's going to be. Uh, contact. So I've got some pages ready to go. And then once again, I can come in here and underneath my menus, I'm going to click uh, dinner. And then I'm going to make a sibling of that. I'm going to make that uh, breakfast. So I've probably done that the other way, right? But actually, it's a good thing. Breakfast. And let's do lunch. And of course, we can't forget our friend banquet. So we're going to do banquet, not banquety, banquet. All right, so the thing that I want to tell you about is, and this is another feature that we didn't really get a chance to explore, but what I can do is I can actually click on this and move this in order so I can actually move it around just by clicking and dragging, and I can move it around and reorder things, which is great. The other thing that I can do is if I've got a, a group of sub-children here, I can click on this little guy, and I can actually make them stack up. So now when I come back to, exp uh, to uh, expand them, I just simply do that. Now you can see right here that I've got it saved as website one. Not a good idea. Even though Muse is really good at um, saving your files, you want to make sure that you save uh, your document. So I just hit Command S to save my document. Um, let's see where am I going to put this. Uh, you can see where I was working last. Um, I'm going to put this uh, on my desktop. So I'll just go to my desktop. Here we go. I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder, and I'll call this demo for 1600. And I'm going to create that file, and then I'm going to change the name of that website to wireframe demo. All right, so now I'm going to just click and save that, and now I've saved my Muse site. I've got my basic structure. Uh, I'm going to stop this here, and when we come back, we're going to actually go back in and look at some of the things that we've done uh, to get you back up to speed.